am Hatan. I am with this instrument, and I greet you in the love and the light of our infinite Creator. I greet each of you in the name of the Father, and thank each of you for the privilege of being able to speak with you. As always, our delight is in sharing with you our thoughts. I would like to share with you now a little story. There was once a boy who had grown wise to the ways of the world about him, for he saw much in his daily life, and he understood much. He understood how to act, and he understood what people wished him to think, and he was a good boy. And yet, there were many things that puzzled him as he grew, and perhaps the chief of these things was that which the grown-ups kept calling love. And he turned to his parents, and he said, What is love? And they said, Love is honoring your father and your mother, and obeying them. And he accepted this, and thought on it, and attempted to show love by honoring his father and his mother. And yet, he was not satisfied. And so, he went to his teacher, and he said, Teacher, what is love? And the teacher said, Love is doing what the teacher tells you to do and learning what we ask you to learn here at school. And the boy realized that there must be some truth in this, but yet he was not satisfied. And he went and asked his friend, Tell me, do you know what love is? And his friend said, I am not sure, but I have noticed that when people want something, they say, I love you. And the boy thought on this, and thought, Perhaps this is closer to what love is than anything I've heard. And he puzzled over these things a long time to himself. And one night, when he went to sleep, he sailed away in a beautiful ship with wide, billowing sails. And he sailed over a rainbow bridge into the far waters which he had seen before in his dreams, yet never so clearly as now. And his ship, seeming to know just where to go, harbored itself upon a white beach, and he went onto the glistening sand and walked into a softly forested area. And there he saw a beautiful entity in white robes, glistening golden, not with sunlight, but with light coming from the face of the entity itself. And he asked the radiant being, Sir, tell me, what is love? And the radiant being said not a word, but he knelt down and looked into the little boy's eyes. And the little boy looked back into those luminous eyes. And suddenly his own eyes were changed, and the world was transformed wherever he looked. And he looked around the beautiful forest area, and all seemed to be transformed. All seemed to be alive with joy and love. And he knew what love was, because he was seeing it. It was visible to Every moat of sand danced with an energy so joyful that it was indescribable to him. And yet he knew that it was love. The being said not a word but led him back to his ship. The boy sailed over the rainbow bridge and back to his bed, and when he woke up in the morning, he remembered. And he looked around his room, and his room was transformed. And his mother came into the room, and he ran to her and hugged her, and said, I love you. And he saw his mother transformed into a being that was love. And he ran to his teacher and said, Teacher, I love you. And the teacher became gentle, compassionate, and human in his eyes alone. And each thing that he looked at with his eyes of love sent love back to him. And it was all made of love. And the little boy no longer needed to ask what love was. Love is so simple, my friends, that it cannot be described. It can only be experienced. If you will be as a child, 
And when you open your eyes, if you will give to the world your love, the world will give you back love. It's a process of recognition of what really is. Nothing more. For each, the ship upon which each finds themselves is without a lonesome or rudder, but rather there is a sail which may be moved about by the seeker to catch the winds of spirit. Once one has been able, even for a short time, to run before the wind of spirit and feel the sails billow, one has become able to recognize what it feels like to be in the rhythm and in the rightness of things. For truly we say to you, each has a destiny, each has a mission, each has come into incarnation with gifts to share, with a mission to fulfill, a service to do, and with learning to accomplish. The learning is always about love. The service is always about trusting in the rightness of the moment. And with that said, blessings be to you, my brothers and sisters, in the love and in the light of our one infinite creator. Be in peace and live in love.